Welcome back to Vang Vieng for another episode of Lao Uncovered. Over the next three weeks, we're on a mission to explore what makes Lao truly unique. Today is one of those wow days where you realize there's nowhere else in the world you could have experiences like this. We discover a place that's almost like paradise and check off something that's been on my bucket list for over a decade. Don't forget to hit subscribe and come along for the drive to Blue Lagoon 4. Cost us 10,000 kip to get across. Don't know if it's real or not, but I'm not arguing. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Move over. Yeah, she's done that show. We have just arrived and compared to our first day in Vang Vieng, this lagoon is absolutely stunning. It is so peaceful, you've got loads of things to do, so there's like loads of jumps, zip wires and the scenery from the lagoon is absolutely stunning. We've just grabbed a deck chair, but we're going to go and have a look around now. Now I think what makes this one so much more beautiful than the last is that it's all in the sun. There's literally about maybe 10 people here and there's a few little things to do like obviously the zip line is not as extreme as the last one but it's just a bit more chill because you don't have to queue up, get a life jacket, get briefed etc. So it feels a lot more um, of the real Lao rather than a commercial touristy spot which we don't mind anyway, we do like touristy spots but yeah this place is dead chill. That is probably the best deck chair, we should have gone in that one. No, so I like them in the shade. There's tons of like bamboo deck chairs as well which is really cool, like proper rustic vibes. Very nice outside, but it looks even better in the water. So I think we should just get in and have some fun. Yeah, what's this guy doing here? He's just rafting. Yeah. Rafting over. Time to jump in. There we go. Whoa, that almost hit me. So refreshing. Ten out of ten. We definitely recommend. I love stuff like that. It's so fun and not too dangerous and scary as well. But yeah, having a really good time in this lagoon for sure. We're in Tranquil. Um, it's literally paradise. Yeah, isn't it? we were just saying that we're so glad we came here. Yeah, I especially think, compared to number one. I this think one's we like would have left better. a bit like oh, the lagoons are a bit meh, but this is like next level. Yeah. Buzzing. We then headed back to the hostel to get ready for an activity I have been eagerly waiting for since arriving in Laos. But as the day went on, a small problem arose. Guys, I'm just getting the bag ready and every day has been pure sunshine, not one cloud in the sky, right? And we've left this to our last day and guess what? It's cloudy, so I don't know if hot air balloons can go up in the clouds, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm praying we can go up, but I also don't want to get stuck not at the full altitude, but oh, I really hope we can go up. Fingers crossed, we get picked up in 10 minutes, so let's manifest. We can go up to the normal height and the clouds are really high up, but oh, why every day and why are we left it to the last day? Oh. So we've been picked up, so that's a good sign. Driven about 10 minutes to a random field where we can see all the hot air balloons, so a little bit nervous and excited, but it looks like it's going ahead. I'm more nervous than I was expecting, to be honest. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> this is what the sky is looking like right now. Some clouds, but not too bad. Okay, so the hot air balloon cost us $110 per person, and it's actually the cheapest hot air balloon you can get anywhere in the world. We booked it directly for our hostel. I think flying, going up, with everyone from our hostel, so everyone's uh, pretty amazed right now watching the balloon go up. 
I think that's him testing out the helium as well. Is that how it works? Oh. I don't know if this is normal, but they're like blowing it up initially with just a big fan. <laughs> so, so far the safety precautions have been test the fire, blow up a small balloon, let it go. If it flies, it's good. And here's a plaque to read. I'm not sure if I feel very confident right now, especially because I'm just scared of heights, so it's making me even more nervous. Gaz has run off for the toilet, so now I'm just sat here thinking about my immediate death. Welcome to Hot Air Wang Yang. As we went up, we caught sight of some incredible views, probably the best we've ever seen. A quiet moment settled over the group. Floating so high in the sky while standing in an open basket was just so surreal. My brain couldn't quite wrap around what was happening. I can't tell if I'm scared or not, I'm like in the middle. <laughs> like when I look down, I'm scared. Yeah. When I look out, it looks unbelievably beautiful. It doesn't feel like an airplane, does it, where you're like, shit. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Like, should I be scared, but I'm so high. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Obviously, some really unbelievable scenery. In typical Abby and Gaz fashion, we had to know exactly how the hot air balloon worked, just in case we ever needed to fly one in the future, you know? Uh, we only followed wind direction. Ah, oh, so you can't... Yeah. Uh, Ah, wing up, wing down, wing up, wing down. Oh, you can bring it down though, yeah. Yeah, you see? Yeah. The plane. We are moving stay low, stay high. The plane cooler is the plane height. Oh. Ah, uh, so you can bring it up and down, but not yeah. side to side. Uh. Where do we land? Ah, uh, my ticket over there. Ah. The big place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can see his... Uh, did they drive? Did they drive down then? <laughs> yeah. So the people who helped us launch or set off are over there in the field for us to land. So I guess they grab the ropes and pull us down, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so peaceful though, isn't it? Are you enjoying it? I am, yeah. As we started the descent, our pilot proceeded to tell us that his party truck is being able to land the balloon in trees. At first it was funny until we realised we were heading straight for an actual forest. I couldn't figure out how we were going to dodge that one. It sounds like he likes landing on trees, which is... <laughs> <laughs> so it's the smudge. Yeah. <laughs> Getting on a tree is 10 points. The funny part is, when we glance back up at the other balloons landing, not a single one was even close to the trees. So was our tree adventure really as intentional as he'd claimed? Or was he just trying to downplay a potentially life and death situation? I suppose we'll never know.
Wow, we're alive, but that was amazing. Bucket list moment completed. Even better than I expected, it was so fun. I think we were only there for like half an hour and it was pretty peaceful except from the fire blowing, but the views, it was like you were a, like a human drone up in the air. It needs to be put on your bucket list, guys, 100%. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget we have two other videos on the top things to do in Vang Vieng, which are on the screen now for you to check out. Hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video where we're hitting up Luang Prabang for some epic waterfalls, culture and views.